The problem is we have a BMW with a rear broken sunshade. And that's not a big, big problem, but it's definitely a nuisance. And if you like everything to work on your BMW and a real detail in it, like we are here at All German Auto, it'll bug you. The big problem here is that it's actually quite expensive to fix. The sunshade itself is about $600. And by the time you have it all replaced with the labor and taking the seats and the rear hat tail and everything out of the car needed, you're looking at about $1,100 plus. On a 7 Series BMW, it's even more expensive. It's around $1,500 because the part itself is about $800. So here we have a solution for you. So this is what always happens. This piece of plastic that connects the arm to the sunshade itself always breaks. It's made out of plastic and it cannot be bought separately. So you have to buy the entire sunshade in order to get this little piece of plastic. It shouldn't be made out of plastic in the first place. So here's the solution. We made a 6061 T6 piece of aluminum, duplicated this exact piece right here, and we sell it separately. It'll never break, and it's far superior to this part, and it's anodized black to match the exact color of the plastic piece. So obviously the sunshade is laying down because the little thing is broken, or the slider is broken. And right here is the little rivet that I'll show you in a second in a close-up so you can see what's going on that needs to be removed so you can remove the broken slider. So here we have the little rivet that is uh, located in the little pivot point in the sunshade slider. The little rivet is a two-piece and it is very small but it does come apart like this. So it's two separate parts. So right here I have made a little drawing that shows how the rivet is constructed. So here you have the shaft of the rivet and this is a dome cap that you'll see from the inside of the car. So from inside of the car, right here, this is a little dome that you're physically looking at. What you will do is take a little grinder, and here we have a little eighth inch small. The best one is if you have one with a little radius on it. You go inside the rivet here, grind a little hole in the domed area, and then insert the little mantle off the grinding tip right here and just grind this little radio off right here. You actually don't have to do the whole thing as long as you do the majority of it, just around like that, after you make it through the cap, which is really thin, the rivet comes apart quite easily. You can pull this part right out with a pair of small pliers, but just take care not to be too aggressive with the grinding so that you develop enough heat to melt this plastic part. The installation of this rivet is much, much simpler than the removal. Here we have two halves, a male and a female, and they are machined to fit perfectly together. So in the car, through the slider, you set the rivet into the two halves together like this, and just simply squeeze them together with a pair of pliers like this once they're in a the car. You don't have to use excessive force or anything. The slider is barbed, so it doesn't come apart easily. So in order to reinstall it, there's this little tiny Phillips screw that inserts from the back of this slider right here. If you take that guy out, you can peel this end piece off right here and that allows you to take the new slider and slide it into the channel like that. So here you can see how I'm holding the arm with my one finger, inserting the plastic piece and sliding it in just like that. All you have to do now is put the Phillips screw in right in this place right here. The set simply consists of two 6061 aluminum sliders that's anodized black and the two rivets that are necessary to install the sliders into the sunshade. That's all you need to fix it. No need to buy a new sunshade. No need to even remove the sunshade. Just replace the clips in the car. To find this product to repair your BMW sunshade, go to allgermanauto.com and they'll have the product.